So good morning. I don't have a whole lot of time this morning because I, I got me some breakfast. It's cold out here and all I have to say is I just um, have something on my heart and mind I wanted to talk about this morning. So, you know, um, I'm understanding that, you know, relationships um, sometimes go through a turbulence or what I call sometimes go through changes or um, sometimes uh one of our, you know, our partners fail us, and um, even it could be, you know, your mate has a relationship outside of the marriage and and does that, and uh, it's very hurtful. And I'm understanding now that uh, in the relationship, after the infraction, um, people are now putting up rules and regulations in the relationship so that um, they are sure that their mate won't um, make the same mistake again. I just, I'm really concerned that this isn't, this isn't going to work. Um, to make sure that your man calls you at a certain time, to give your girl a curfew, um, to make sure that they have a check-in with you, um, within a certain amount of time frame throughout the day. I don't necessarily think that that's going to work because we cannot control someone else. And with these ultimatums in relationships, it's making it hard on our, um, our mate to feel really, um, I guess not even just, it just makes them feel really uncomfortable. Because if you think about it, you know, relationships shouldn't be about, um, I don't know. It shouldn't be about, you know, what you're doing and what I'm doing. I just think that we're going about trying to restore the relationship trust the wrong way. Because when we stick all these ultimatums on the relationship and we're trying to make sure that our mate doesn't do this and that. And, and we want to make sure that our mate... Uh, stays on this straight and narrow I think when we enforce that sometimes we're making it worse than it needs to be like our relationship should be flowing accordingly I don't have an issue with people going out and, and trying to restore the relationship don't get me wrong but I think that it's not healthy for us to um, put these stipulations on on our mate because in your relationship, there should be a freedom, a free to go, a free will. And if your mate doesn't know how to master their own self, then that has to be um, a concern for you, yes. But you putting like a rule or regulation over top of your mate is going to make it worse. You can't tell a person, a grown person, mind you, what time to do something, where to be, how to get this, how to do that. I mean, we do that stuff with our teenagers. And so what I'm thinking is we are actually making the relationship like a parent-child relationship. Because when we tell our children, when they're teenagers, you have to be home at a certain time, that is a parent-child rule. That is a parent-child regulation. And we are doing that because we expect them to have some type of mastery over self but after they get grown we no longer are telling our children well you have to be home at a certain time because why they're grown we have to stop trying to raise our mate once your mate is grown they're grown and if they don't know how to master their um Whereabouts? If they don't know how to control themselves with other people, if you have an issue with your woman going out here messing around or your man going out here messing around, then perhaps you need to just break ties until they get that out their system. I'm not saying that all relationship needs to be over with. But sometimes we tend to put this rule of thumb on our mate that you have to be home at a certain time. You have to do this. You have to do that. You have to call me within this certain time frame. And when we're doing that, we're making it, we're making a mockery of the relationship. Our relationship should be in a flow to where if that mate goes out and has a good time with their friends or you go out and have time, good time with your friends, there should be no curfew. 
You should know when to come home. You're grown. You don't have to have a curfew on your mate. You don't have to have a curfew on your woman. Because if she cheated or if he cheated or if they don't know how to act, then perhaps they need to learn how to master that. But as your girlfriend, your wife, your significant other, we don't have a right to put over top of our mates what they can and can't do. Because once we start doing that, our relationship turns into a parent-child relationship. So now our relationship is based upon, oh, well, um, you know, I got to check in. I got to ask my, my, my woman or my mate if I can go somewhere. That's childish, man. We are turning our relationships into, childish, into a childish parent-child type of relationship. And it just shouldn't be that. I just don't want to see a lot of relationships turn into parent-child relationship after an infraction happens in the relationship because it doesn't work because after a while how many of us know parents know that as long as we keep our ties on our children and tell our children to be home at a certain time they try to stretch it at 1101 or 1102 we tell our kids get home by 11 o'clock get home when the street lights come on that stuff then they try to say well the street lights where i was at wasn't on yet all that stuff happens and so when you put that type of stipulation or regulation on your mate they're going to do the same thing they're going to end up actually making a mockery out of what your rules are you cannot regulate a grown person if you're in a relationship if you're trying to love your mate and care about your mate and your mate has an infraction or you or it or disappoint you in any way please stop thinking that if I give my mate rules and I tell my mate what he can and cannot do, he will or she will follow through because they're going to fail at those rules. I'm sorry. It's just not going to work. I mean, it could work for a little while, but how long is your rules going to be? I mean, and then you got to figure out how long are the rules going to be substantial because you can't tell your mate for the, from now to the end of time, you've got to be home at a certain time. That, that, that's not, that's not realistic. And we got to stop putting these ultimatums on our relationships. We cannot tell a grown person what to do. We cannot tell our mate, you can and cannot do something. It's different. Like I said, once your child gets older, like I said, I got an 18 year old child. So once my child gets older and does something or, or she does something that she has to deal with, she is now grown. I'm not over top of her telling her what she can and cannot do. And my child is only 18. But at the end of the day, I started treating my daughter at 16 as grown. You know how to master yourself. You know what's right from wrong. I did my job. I taught you how to behave. So I don't have to still be over top of you regulating where you're going, what you're doing, how you're acting. I don't have to do that. And I shouldn't have to do that in my relationship. If I love you and you love me, and there's something that comes on in the relationship and we end up getting in an infraction or something happens within the relationship, we have to learn to say to each other, how can we bring back the love to each other? Bimbus asks, what if you love someone in love? Well, if you love someone in love with someone else, is that what you're asking me, Bimbus? Give me a clarity on that. So, you know, it's, it's very hard as far as trying to hover over and giving ultimatums on somebody now you're if you're asking me do you give an ultimatum on someone that is in love with someone else well that's a little different that scenario is a whole different ball game okay that's what you're give me a second minute because i'm gonna address that so anyway back to all, giving ultimatums and rules on your grown family member or your your mate please don't do that please allow your grown mate to learn to master self Please allow your mate to learn to master who um, they are as far as when they look in the mirror, are they grown and are they okay with what is what their reflection is showing them? You have to give them the um, means of look at yourself. I can't master over you, baby boy. I can't, I don't have the energy, first of all. And secondly, if you care about me and you love me like you say you do, you're going to know how to master you. Are you going to find other people attractive? Yes. Are you going to get into different friendships? Yes. Are you going to have women that are beautiful around you? Yes. 
But that doesn't mean that you're going to sleep with all of them. Because you, you care about me enough to where you take into account that we're together. Or if, if you have an open relationship and you guys know, okay, this is not, this is not a violation. If you do go out and, and date someone else, then that is y'all's relationship. There is a clear understanding between the two of you. So there's no reason for me to have to regulate and put on top of my man. Oh, you can't do this. You can't do that. You can't go here. You can't go there. You got to call me by this time every day. If you don't call me within this time frame, then something's up and I'm going to get rid of you. And it's like, no, that's not how things work. Now, members, you're asking me if someone, if you are in love with someone in love with someone else. Okay. So this is a challenge for you. I don't know if it's you or a friend per se. So if you're in love with someone in love with someone else, um, you know, it's really hard for you to give them an ultimatum at this point because you are on the outside of a relationship that they're in right now. So basically your feeling is that you're in love. Okay. A friend. So you're in love or he's in love with, or she's in love with someone else. Here's the problem with this. When you have feelings for someone, this is very important. I want everybody to take this down because this is very important. When you or someone you know are in love with someone, the feelings that they have for that person is about them, not about the person that they're in love with. So the hard part about this is when you're in love with someone, it's about you. It's about how you feel. So your friend, <laughs> okay, I lost, that's awesome. Your friend is in love with her or your friend that's a woman or man is in love with him or her. Understand this. Explain to them that their feelings are about them. However, if they're in love with someone in a relationship with someone else, they're doing themselves a disservice. I'm not saying to unlove someone because that's almost damn near impossible because feelings are what they are. Okay, guy. Feelings are what they are. So it's hard to unlove someone. But what your friend must do is understand that friend relationships and how we feel about someone makes it very difficult for us because when we are in love with someone it's hard to detach from the fact that they are in love with someone else so i would strongly suggest that your friend tries to um get away from the in love feelings and start to open himself up and his magnetism to other people why? Because he is going to spend countless hours trying to get with someone that is not available to him. When you are interested or in love with someone unavailable, it makes it very hard to try to um, get in a relationship that way. He, the person isn't available to him. So please explain to him that person is unavailable. And I understand that love and feelings are what they are. You can't just turn them off because you feel like, well, I'm, I love them. So, you know, um, I want to be with them, but they're unavailable to you. You're doing, you're actually doing yourself an inner torture because you are trying to be with someone that cannot be with you unless they decide to be with you. And you don't want to end up being in a love affair where you are now, um, just getting ration time like he you, you know the the girl is just rationing you out time when she can't get away from her man no actually let him know that it's very important that he deserves a person that is for him and and tell him to just try to detach as much as he can i mean begin to start having friendships outside of that and start to understand that he's worthy to have a relationship of his own um, because she's unavailable, it's really going to hurt him in the long run. Because most likely, if the girl is already unavailable and he wants to get with her, it's not healthy for you to get into a relationship a relationship with someone that's with someone else. It's just unhealthy. I hope that helped you, members. Um, you know, it's very important that we don't get caught up in uh, relationships with people unavailable. It's just not, it, it, it serves us no good at all so you don't want to be involved with that so i don't have a lot of time <clears throat> a lot of time like i said i'm getting ready to go and eat because <laughs> my food is getting cold but i wanted just to tell you guys please don't put rules 
and regulations on your mate like you do your teenagers or your kids because it's not going to serve you well. I really am concerned that, you know, we we have a tendency to get so caught up in how um, we can regulate or police our mate. And you can't. Relationships are not made to police. They are made to enjoy. You are supposed to be connected to each other because we want to be together. It shouldn't be, oh, I want to see how much he's going to do. I'm going to throw him out there and see if he's going to mess around. And, you know, all this suspicion. And I talk about suspicion a lot. We don't want to be in a relationship where we're constantly suspicious. That is unhealthy for us. I'm talking about women. I'm talking about men in relationships constantly suspicious about their mate. It is unhealthy for us. We are not people out here trying to police our relationships. And if we are, it's not healthy for you. First of all, it's it's high in stress. You're telling too much. You're spending too much time trying to see what your mate is doing and what he's not doing and who he's doing. That's too much. <laughs> Thanks, Alicia. Isn't it? That's too much. We need to just enjoy our mate. Understand, there is going to be connections throughout our lives with other people. Just because you're in a relationship doesn't mean that you're not going to have attractions. I tell people all the time, people that I'm close to, especially guys that I, I've seen that have a sincere spirit. And, men, and women, you know what I'm talking about. Sincere spirit. Like the spirit is so sincere. It's just a beauty uh, on that person. And I'm not talking about looks. I'm talking about a person that has a beautiful spirit. And it's hard not to be drawn into that. Because it's a beautiful spirit. And you see these men that are sincere spirits. And you're like, man, they are so attractive because they draw you in. Well, I could be in a relationship and drawn into that spirit. It doesn't mean I'm going to cheat. It just means that I can get engaged. I can get attracted. We have to stop thinking that once we're in a relationship, we cap off all friendships. I mean, we have a lot. I have a lot of male friends. I'm just going to cap off all my friendships because I'm in a relationship. No, I know how to master me. I know how to behave. I know I'm in a relationship. I know what to do and what not to do. I don't need someone, my mate or anyone else to tell me, uh, Carla, you need to not do this. Carla, you need to not do that. Carla, you need to make sure you're home. Carla, no. We need to make sure that we have friendships. There's nothing wrong with that. And we have to stop thinking that all relationships requires a policing. It doesn't. If you're policing, then we need to get away.